This instructional video is designed to show you how to determine the identity of an element when you're given a set of quantum numbers for its last electron. And we'll do all three of these in order. So our first one we have n equals 2, l equals 1, m sub l equals negative 1, and m sub s equals plus 1 half. The first step is to determine the last orbital using the principal and secondary quantum numbers. And in this case we have a 2p. Because we know it's a 2p, we can immediately write the three suborbitals, minus 1, 0, plus 1. And we see that the last electron is a spin up in the minus 1. And we would backfill everything else. Uh, there's nothing left to do. And so this tells us that the last thing we have is a 2p1. Next, we use the alpha principle to determine what comes before. That's a 2s completely filled and a 1s completely filled. So the only thing that has this is boron, and that gives us the identity of our element. For our next one, n equals 4, l equals 2, m sub l equals plus 2, m sub s equals minus a half. So again, the first step, determine that last orbital. This is a 4d. Once we know that, we can write out these suborbitals. There are five of them, labeled minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, and plus 2. Now that we have those, we see that it's a spin down in the plus 2 as our last electron. In order for that to be the case, all of these must be spin down coming before it, and all of these must be spin ups. So now that we've worked in reverse, we can tell that the last term in our configuration is 4d10. Once we have that in place, it's straightforward to use the alpha principle by knowing what must fill in beforehand. Is a 5s2. And then we can look at a periodic chart and find our noble gas. In this case, it's krypton. And once we have all of that information for our complete configuration, we can determine that our element is cadmium. So our final case, principal quantum number is 6, secondary is 0, magnetic is 0, and our spin is minus 1 half. So our last orbital is a 6s. Uh, we have only the single suborbital in our s shell, and the minus 1 half on the spin means we have a spin down. That requires us to have a spin up first. And so we now know that the last term is 6s2. By the alpha principle, we only have to go back and find our noble gas. In this case, it's xenon. And that implies that we're looking at barium. And so by applying these steps, using the first two quantum numbers to determine your last orbital, determining the occupancy by backfilling everything in, and then using alpha to fill in the remainder of the configuration, we can get the identity of our element.